And this is the first dog we're going to show you today. You're looking at Nellie. Nellie is a two and a half year old female spayed hound mix. Uh, came to the shelter heartworm positive and was in a foster home while she was being treated. Good with cats, good with dogs, and was great in the foster home with both. Spent a couple days in a home for a Christmas program that was done by the shelter, and they thought she was incredibly wonderful, too. She loved all the family members and all the animals that came. The family was in tears when they brought her back because she's so incredibly sweet. So if you're looking for a dog that really has it all, sweetness and kindness and gentility and a heck of a lot of beauty, you're looking for Nellie. She is an absolutely beautiful, sweet girl, good with absolutely everybody, and looking for a home. You're looking at Nellie. Super happy and outgoing, you're looking at Snoops. Snoops is a male caramel beagle. That means he's got no black on him. He's a year to two years old. He was rescued from a kill shelter where he was scheduled to hit the gas chamber. This is a ch typical beagle. Loves being with people, loves being around other dogs, great with kids. Uh, they don't yet know how he'd be around cats. He is a cuddler. He is very vocal, as beagles tend to be, and if you've ever heard a beagle go, Boo! you know the kind of barking that they do. But this is just an altogether happy little guy, sweet, outgoing, friendly, wonderful, wonderful. He wants to be with everybody. He's just too cute. His name is Snoops, and he's looking for a forever family to take him home and let him love them. This handsome boy is Stanley Man. He is a neutered male, about a year old. Lab boxer mix. He's one of the favorites in the shelter because he's always so happy, so outgoing, and so friendly. Um, he's choking himself, and that's the reason he's hacking like that. And he's choking himself because he wants to get as close to us as he can possibly get. And if you notice, the tail never stops wagging. The face is always smiley. Hey, Stanley, let's see if we can get you over where the camera can see you. He wants to play. He wants to be happy. There. There you go, Stanley. Um, he went home also for fam with a family for Christmas, and they thought he was incredible. Um, family thanked him for making this the, the, the quickest they've ever put their Christmas tree away because he kind of thought that it was the pea place in the house. Uh, but they couldn't speak it more highly of him. They wrote an amazing write-up, which you can read if you look at his file. He is sweet, loving, wonderful, handsome, outgoing, playful, young, and looking for a home of his own. You're looking at the Stanley man. Well, you're looking now at Lee and Binky. They're a pair of Shih Tzus. They're about eight years old. Um, Save a Pet was contacted by a, the director of a kill shelter who begged us to take them in because they were so sweet. She had been fostering them in her house until Save a Pet could take them in. They like their own photo bowls. They like their own water, balls, water bowls, but they're definitely a pair. They love cuddling with their special person. Quiet home for these two guys with no kids. They're great with each other. We don't know how they would do with other dogs, but the two of them are just very sweet, very dear little girls who love each other, who probably have a good, oh, they're probably just about middle age for these little guys. They've got lots of years left. They're sweet, they're loving, they need to be bathed and brushed a little bit, but they're precious, and they need someone who will take them home, who wants a pair of loving lap dogs, who will just stay with them and keep them. These are Lee and Binky, and they want to go home together. The dog you're looking at now is Cobalt. He is a two-and-a-half-year-old, neutered, beautiful Dalmatian. Um, he's totally deaf, as many Dalmatians are. It is a genetic problem with many Dalmatians. But that doesn't stop him for a minute. The only thing you do need to know about him is that if you call him, he doesn't hear you. So he must be on a leash, and he must be controlled. And he is huge, and he is, I'm told, the strongest dog in the shelter. Would be good maybe with older kids because he is so powerful. Needs lots of exercises. Needs lots of training with someone who knows how to teach him hand signs and will spend time working with him. He's all about being happy. He's all about having fun. He's outgoing. He's friendly. He's gorgeous. And let's see if we can get up. <laughs> and he's taking Dana for a walk. He needs some good obedience training, especially on a leash, because he is so big. You're looking at Cobalt. The dog you're looking at now is Kenzie. 
She's a 10-year-old female, little old, little old lady, basically. She's one of the most, the most gentle and loving dogs that's ever been in this shelter. Uh, she's kept in the back office away from the noise and stress because she is frightened and confused, just wanting to believe in someone to love her again. She obviously had someone who loved her, and somehow she got separated from the person who loved her. And because she's as loving as she is, we have to believe that whoever had her truly did love her. But she doesn't understand why she's here. She doesn't understand why the other dogs bark at her. She doesn't understand why the floors are cold and why she doesn't have a sofa and why there's not a forever person with her all the time. And she's terribly, terribly sad. Kenzie would probably do better in a home with older kids because she, she just can't deal with the stress. But there's, I mean, there's nothing but sweetness and softness and love. And you can look at her face and see how bewildered she is. She doesn't understand why her loving home and family have disappeared. She needs another loving home and family to fill that void in her life. This is Kenzie, and she's just waiting for someone to take her home out of this scary kennel. Take her home and just love her. Her name is Kenzie. Ladies and gentlemen, I present Puppy Time. You're looking first at three little blue healer hound mix puppies that are about 10 weeks old. And that is Hank Williams and Bluegrass, I believe, and Sugarland, if I'm not mistaken. Um, no, Willie Nelson, Bluegrass, and Hank Williams are these three. And they are absolutely adorable. And again, these were taken out of a kill pound the day they were scheduled to go down. Uh, unfortunately, there are pounds that are just full of puppies that people simply don't want. And these absolutely darling babies were facing the possibility of having no life whatsoever. And they're just absolutely precious, outgoing, and adorable. Now over there, the little tan and white one is Sugarland. Sugarland is probably a hound mix, and Sugarland is also about 10 weeks old. And this is a very sweet, she's a little bit laid back and a little bit quiet, but terribly, terribly, terribly sweet, friendly, loving, beautiful little dog. And the last one you're looking at is Sylvie. Sylvie is, got her name because she's a beautiful silver color marked with white, and again, very, very sweet, very dear. Probably a terrier mix, terrier mixed with I don't know what. Um, every one of these dogs can be called an all-American multi-mix, and you can say that with pride as if it is the best of breeds. What these are are babies that have the best of many breeds, and what they are is fun and outgoing and playful and loving, and they'll teeth on your furniture and chew on your fingers and make you crazy till they grow up, and you'll love every minute of it because they will fill your days with joy and laughter and a little bit of cleaning up till they get house trained. They're cute as they can be, every one of the five, and they're all looking for permanent homes, and they're all available for adoption now. Save a Pet is bursting with beautiful cats, loving kittens, wonderful dogs, great puppies, every one of them looking for a permanent home, and everyone depending on people like you who watch the show. All About Animals would like to thank Cairo Animal Hospital in Highland Park for keeping us on the air and helping us find homes for these wonderful animals.